Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate how we can have Exchange 2010 Client Access Server coexist with your Exchange 2003 Outlook Web Access Server. So this coexistence is necessary if, for example, you have an Exchange 2003 mailbox user and you would like that user to be able to access their mailbox from the Exchange 2010 client access server and how this would work is that by entering the URL for the Exchange 2010 client access server you will be redirected to the Exchange 2003 OWA since Exchange 2010 CS server client access server is not able to render the Outlook web access interface for the Exchange 2003 mailbox user so we're going to begin with typing the name of the Exchange 2010 client access server. So this will bring up the Exchange 2010 Outlook web app interface. Then we're going to enter the login credentials for the Exchange 2003 user. And what is supposed to happen, remember this is a default configuration, what is supposed to happen here is that it is supposed to redirect to the Exchange 2003 OWA web interface. So I'm going to click on sign in and then we're going to get this error here. Because by default you need to specify certain parameters so that Exchange 2010, in this case my the name of the server, my Exchange 2010 server is exchnew2. And it, this server does not know where to redirect requests for Exchange 2003 users. So I'm going to show you what you need to do on Exchange 2010. There's a command that, that you need to run and this command is available on the Microsoft website. In the, I think the link is upgrading from Exchange 2003 client access. So I'm going to move on to the Exchange 2003, sorry the 2010 server, client access server and I'm going to enter the command here. Now the command is in this format. This command, remember, it will allow you to redirect clients to the Exchange 2003 machine, OWA machine. So you're going to replace the parameters by, by the name of your server. The name of my server is exchnew2. and then we're gonna replace the URL with the name of your the name on the certificate for your OWA 2003 machine in my case it is the following so we're ready to run this command press enter okay so now we can try back the login at our XP machine enter the name of the exchange 2003 user Jason we're gonna log in and we're gonna get a prompt here to enter again the credential. Remember this is a redirection for the user. And this error here is related to enabling the form based authentication on Exchange 2003 server. Now I don't know why it has to be enabled. It it should be an optional optional setting but it is it from for my test I needed to enable this what I'm going to show you here I needed to go to the exchange 2003 machine in order to get rid of that error and under the exchange system manager tab on the exchange virtual server I needed to enable form based authentication 
although this shouldn't have to be but in my case I'm still waiting on an answer from Microsoft in terms of why I need to do that so after setting form based authentication I then go into IIS and I need to restart the IIS default website And now we can try back that login at our XP machine. So I'm going to close this off and restart the browser. and enter the name and we should automatically be redirected to single sign-on which is the purpose of the F of enabling FBA allowing single sign-on to the Exchange 2003 machine and there we go we've just logged in from Exchange 2010 and we've been redirected to single sign-on to the OWA 2003 machine remember I had to enable form based authentication in order for this to work although it should be an optional setting to enable form based authentication it should have worked whereby without the form based authentication enabled on Exchange 2003 we could have logged into the Exchange 2010 client access server get the prompt, the login prompt dialog box to enter the username and password for the 2003 user and then again we will be redirected to the to the Outlook Web Access 2003 however in this case it did not work because we got an HTTP 500 internal error as you saw before and the solution the fix for that which I don't know why is to enable the form based authentication but this is just something that is interesting to know and it may help you if you have encountered this problem in having Exchange 2010 CS server coexist with your Outlook Web Access 2003 server